Oh, well that's one way to start the vlog today. Hello and welcome to day seven of the vlog. Today, I'm actually gonna do a couple of things that are fun. I keep thinking of things to do, but then it's like life gets in the way because I have kind of things in my like to-do list. Like I need to do this before the end of the year. Here's what's gonna happen today. First of all, let me switch arms. Okay, that's better. So this year I wanted to open up like a PO box or a mailbox for you guys to send stuff. I have had so many private messages and comments on uh, videos and things like that and comments on Instagram. People that have been wanting to send me something, like a letter, a postcard, pictures, uh, products to review, like whatever. I am so uncomfortable giving out my actual like mailing address, like where I live. So that's what's gonna happen today is I am gonna go to the UPS store and I am gonna get a freaking mailbox. So if you want to, I'm not asking you to send me anything, there will be like snail mail down below. So for all of you that have been asking, I will actually be posting it in the description box below. I talked to somebody today, unfortunately like the rates are not online, so I had to call actually multiple times because I'm sure they're really busy right now just because of like the holidays and people shipping out packages packages and stuff but finally got to talk to somebody got the rates and I think I'm just gonna sign up for a full year I end up getting like quite a bit off so like you know it's like per month but you actually have to pay for it all up front so it's either you pay for three months six months nine months or a year and then if you pay the full year then you get quite a substantial discount and I have you know enough in reserves so I think I'm just gonna do that and then I don't have to worry about it and then I can just say hey if you want to send me something or you want to send me a letter or a postcard which I, I would love to receive letters I think letters are really cool um you can always put them down below and or I will put the information down below and then you can send me things and I will go there at least once a week it's actually um it's gonna be in Blaine Minnesota um obviously I live in Minnesota I think most of you guys know that that's why it's freaking cold outside and ugh, it's gross out today but Blaine is kind of right in between my work and my home so and the idea is that very soon there's like a car creeping up on me <laughs> anyway so um, the idea is that in the next year or two that I will be moving closer to the city which I live or I work really close to the city right now or almost in the city essentially so um, I wanted to get something that was kind of in between so it wouldn't be too far out of the way and then also it wouldn't be too far out of the way if for some reason I like moved into the city as well so I just want to stick with that address it's gonna be fine I'll still be able to go at least once a week and then it's like literally on my way home um, from work every day so that's really cool there's also like a 24-hour feature too so I can actually pick it up anytime I want um, I just need to call ahead in case I have packages and stuff like that so anyway I need to go take my body and my car to the UPS store and let's get this party started I got a mailbox I got a mailbox 322 is all mine so over my face right now I will post my actual physical mailbox don't worry if it's UPS FedEx DHL USPS it's a regular physical address. It's at the UPS store, but they can accept any shipment. So if you guys ever want to send me anything, cards, packages, whatever, you can send it there. I will also modify my description down below. So in every video, I'll always have my snail mail information. So if you don't, if you want to send something or you want to send a letter or something like that, go right ahead. If you don't have it ready, that's fine. I'm not expecting to like get hordes of mail, but who knows? From this point moving forward, it'll be attached to all of my video descriptions. So all the previous descriptions, I am not going to change because that is way too much work. So I am getting with the 21st century and I am going snail mail, y'all. Okay, so now that this is done, I need to go home and walk the puppy dog. And I actually have to wrap some presents tonight. So. So I am going to show you how to do that. Plus, I think I might actually film that as like a separated video. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I think I'm going to do that because a lot of people are very interested in like wrapping gifts. So I think that might be a good video to post for like my Wednesday or Friday video for next week. 
think I think that I think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. But I'll show you guys too how I do it because I have many things to wrap, but I'm gonna use like obviously like one as an example to like show in the video and then you know go from there. So I am done talking and I will be home in just a moment. Boom! Well, I am back from the mailbox place and I just took Doyle on a walk. And I'm really, really regretting not wearing a hat because my ears are so sore now because it's cold out. It's like really, really cold. But I am gonna get to a wrapping presents. So I figured I would turn you guys around and show you what I have to wrap. It doesn't matter who's watching this because tomorrow evening after work, I'm actually going to their house and they are gonna be opening up these presents. And this will be actually uploaded probably while I'm still there. So anyway, let me show you what I got for all the people. Okay. And here is all the stuff I have to wrap tonight. So this is all for one kid. There's some like Lego city stuff. I don't really know that much about Legos, but his mom thought he would like this. And then this one's like, I don't know. Um, also, he's the one that I got these for. If you saw my last vlog, I will somehow wrap those. I don't really know how yet, but I'm gonna do it. Um, this is for the adult in the family. Um, she's into planning now, so I figured I'd get her a couple little like cute chocolate bars and then um, a gift card to Target because you know she can use it on groceries or she can buy herself something, you know, whatever. And then I have some kind of Christmassy glitter washi tape. And and then I have got some stuff from Erin Condren. I've got some sticky notes. I've got a little journal. I think those are called journals. And then I've got some sticker books for her. So hopefully she will like that. And then her oldest daughter, I actually got these for. This is my one of my favorite makeup palettes. Um, she said that Isabel is really into makeup and I figured she would like this, so I got that. I actually hauled this in one of my recent, I think it was Sephora hauls. I had a 20% off coupon. And then also I wanted to get her these. These are my favorite brushes. Um, I actually use these three all the time. I don't really use these other two, but I use these three all the time. So yeah. I'm gonna go with those for Isabel. And then Jackson, my nephew, this is what's for him. I only got him one toy, but then I got him clothes because, you know, clothes are really for the parents anyway, you know what I'm saying? And Jackson lives with his mom. But yeah, so I got him a Mr. Potato Head because I thought that was really freaking cute. And you know, kids get so many toys over the holidays, especially when they're super young. Jackson is gonna be two next year, so you know, he's just in that age category where you can get away with like giving a bunch of clothes and then giving like one little thing and then he's still happy. So obviously I love black and gray and you guys know that. I got this at Target, which I thought was really cute. That's from Cat and Jack. And then all the rest of the stuff I actually got at Marshall's. So I got these cute little like Puma socks. And then my brother actually is like obsessed with sweatpants when he was a little kid. So I thought I saw this and I was like, oh my God, these are so funny. I have to get this for your son. So it has like the little Nike symbol and um, I actually got him a 4T. He's already fitting into like, he's like growing out of two T's and he's into three T's already. He's just so tall. Um, so yeah, so I got everything in a 4T just so he could, you know, it could be like a little bit bigger. And then I found this really cute jacket at Marshall's. I wish they had it in my size. I'm just being 100% honest. But this is this jacket. It's like a really nice transition jacket. Um, it's really, really fuzzy and fleecy on the inside. And then it's like this built-in puffer which with a lot of like little pockets and stuff. It's got a little emblem on the side. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. And then it would be good for like fall and spring in Minnesota because we have like all the four seasons here. So yeah, that is what I got for him. And then all the gift receipts are over there. I'm just gonna put that in the mom's bag of stuff. So if someone doesn't like what they got, then they can exchange it or return it or whatever. But I did approve everything with her, so that's good. That's all the stuff I need to wrap. And then here's the supplies that I have. Whoa, here are the supplies I have. I've got this little bag. I've got like a little Santa bag as well. I think I got all of this at Walgreens a while back. I've got some, this is from Walgreens as well. Kind of goes with those bags. I got some tissue paper. And then also um, I have these from yesterday that were in my Erin Condren order. These are like the little free gift that I got. These you will see in a minute. These are like little ties that I can put on my packages. 
I have a bunch of rolls of ribbons, all different, you know, kind of just random colors. And then I have this craft paper. So I thought that I would just keep things like really basic and simple and go with the craft paper and um, maybe wrap some of the gifts in the tissue as well. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of go with like whatever. There are a couple of gifts, like the one for Jackson, I'm gonna put in the big Santa bag because it's all those clothes and then like an oddly shaped thing. And then for this one, I think I'm gonna put Heidi stuff in there because it's kind of all oddly shaped as well. But everything else is pretty much boxes. But Gavin's stuff, I think I might wrap these two things in the tissue paper, which would make more sense. So anyway, I'm actually gonna film a little bit for like my actual, like like a real video. I mean, not that this isn't real, but um, like a real video for my like Wednesday or Friday video and just kind of show how I wrap a box because I find it interesting because everyone always comments on my gift wrapping skills. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go do that and then I will show you everything in the end. All right, so I just finished filming my video and here is my done package. Um, this is actually Legos. I do my seams very differently, and I also have like a seamless back on there, and I also make sure not to have like a bump in my ribbon, because my bump is in the front. If you wanna see how I do that, it'll be up this upcoming Wednesday, so stay tuned for that, or you can subscribe so you don't like miss anything. Um, so yeah, but this is how I do my stuff. Um, this is just some random ribbon, some craft paper, and then these are some like little ties. I have no idea where the ties are from. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. I have no idea. Um, I think I got these from like a craft store in bulk many, many years ago, um, but I have had them for probably seven or eight years because I have like a total ton of them. So anyway, I need to get back to wrapping gifts. Um, I already did my nephews, which is in that big Santa bag, and then I also did his mom's, which is in there but all the other like boxes I need to get to wrapping. So I am gonna get to that and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So I'm, oh, maybe I should turn my wrap off. Uh. Um, obviously I like to listen to, you know, gangster rap as I wrap presents. So yeah. I'm listening to Pandora Hip Hop Barbecue, if anybody's interested. It is like the best Pandora station if you like, like 90s and early 2000s wrap. So I just finished wrapping up all of the gifts, took a little while, and I filmed a video which will be up uh, this upcoming Wednesday if you're actually watching this in chronological order. I never want to assume anything. Some people don't watch these in order, they watch them out of order, which is totally fine. So um, let me show you all the things that I wrapped up. It's not like great, but whatever. Here are all the gifts that I wrapped in that little bag. If you want to see what a few of them look like, you can go to my Instagram because I did Instagram a couple of them. I have my Santa bag, which is my nephew's. Um, the bag with the green tissue is my nephew's mom. And then my mom actually sent all of this stuff. I really don't even know what's in there, but I guess I'm gonna find out tomorrow. So all of those gifts need to be loaded into my car, which I will do in a little bit, but I'm starving. It is like 6.30. And like I've said before, I actually eat like really early typically. So yeah, I need to eat. So I am gonna make, I think I'm just gonna make tacos tonight. And I think on Friday, I'm gonna make like a burrito bowl or something because I think I'm getting a little sick of tacos. But tomorrow night, I'm gonna go and see all the kiddos and give them gifts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film that yet. I'll film like little parts of it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like show faces and stuff because I haven't really like talked to their mom about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I never wanna put someone in an uncomfortable position, but um, I will film at least like their hands opening gifts but um, no promises, you never know. So anyway, I am gonna let you guys go for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and thanks for all the positive response from the vlogs. Everyone's been really liking them, which is kind of cool. And this is like my legit like boring daily life. It actually is a little bit interesting right now just because it's the holidays and I've got like lots of packages coming in the mail and stuff. Like I don't get packages every day. This is just like a really random fluke thing that's been happening recently because I've been placing orders or I've been doing stuff um, for like getting my some stuff ready for my channel and all of that. So anyway, I don't get packages every day and I don't do fun things every day. I'm usually like doing a whole lot of nothing. But there's really cool things coming up because I am gonna be going to Florida 
very, very soon. So that'll be fun. I'll be able to take you along on our little like adventures. Also, I'm gonna have other family members around, which will be kind of cool. I know a couple of you, a couple of you have commented that you want to meet my brother, and my brother, you will meet. I promise. So I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and also subscribe. I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers, you guys. Like that's insane. So if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to hit that little button there. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. I will see you in the next video. Bye.